welcome to week seven, construction, design, development, uh, BA 426 and 526. Boy, we're almost there, three more weeks, and uh, then we run into finals week, uh, short, short quarter this quarter, which of course brings up uh, the term project that's probably on everyone's mind. What we're going to do this week is the assignment is actually... Uh, requiring you to, to give me some information about your term project. So I've attached a document to the assignment link that gives greater detail on your, your project. Um, it's a project that you'll complete by yourself and basically looking for you to identify the specific site uh, where you'd like to do your project. And again, give me some information about that so that uh, Going into week eight, you'll be a ways down the road in terms of your project. Um, this week's reading takes a look at a day center program and uh, really a, a pretty interesting chapter. Uh, pay attention, as, as I say in Blackboard, to some of the objectives that were intended from the owner and, and the uh, architect. Um, interesting objectives included things like designing an environment that was attractive for staff, so really using the physical environment as a recruit recruiting instrument. Um, also designing an environment that created certain kinds of uh, emotions or feelings for people. So do, do read that and we'll probably have some questions about that down the road. Um, there's also a couple of slideshows on design awards that fostered or, or supported aging in place. Some of these awards were in senior housing environments and some of them were in private homes. So take a look at those, They're kind of fun to, to look at. There's a narrated PowerPoint this week uh, showing some of the details of designing senior housing environments. And this is this week we get into more of the fine decision-making related to uh, the layout of an apartment in a CCRC, um, the heights of counters, different kinds of decisions that, that are age friendly. So watch that. I'm also attaching a non-narrated PowerPoint that just provides some informational slides. Uh, this was a request from one of the students and it, it made a lot of sense. Uh, one of the downsides of narrated PowerPoint is it's tough to stop the presentation and and follow the, the slides or get the information from the slide. Uh, there will be a discussion question this week and I think that's about it. Uh, again, hopefully having the assignment relate to your term project will be helpful to you and you'll get a ways down the road with your term project. So have a good week.